Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Easter Egg Hunter series, episode 5, which is actually the last episode. Yes, unfortunately, guys, it's the last episode. No lies. <laughs> yeah, um, again, let me, let me explain what we're going to do within this episode. So, obviously, we're going to visit the Easter Eggs, uh, do a few useless things along the way. And I'll be discussing future plans and things that we kind of missed out within this series. So let's get to it. Uh, we're going to be visiting the Julian system. Right, the jewel, where Jewel is and its amazing moons. So many moons. The very first moon that we will be visiting is Bop. Because Bop is such a typical name. Yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great reason. Anyway, Bop has something... That most of you guys would know about. It's been shown quite uh, quite a lot. You'll see soon enough. Uh, actually, I just want to discuss something that we missed out on this series, and that is the cinematic. See, during the early episode of this series, I discussed how I would be doing a cinematic, and this cinematic would would be in pieces, so each episode would contain a cinematic, and, you know, once you connect all the pieces, it comes into, like, a nice movie. That kind of thing. Now, the reason why I didn't do that is because the upload rate for me, like, the frequency of which I upload, was quite far apart, and none of you would remember the cinematic that I did earlier on because of that. So that's why I haven't really done the cinematics. But... I will make a full cinematic, won't be separate, I'll do like a full cinematic, I don't know when, I've got my exams next week, big exams, I can't fail them, but maybe soon I'll do that, the nice cinematic, you guys, I'm sure you guys will like it, it's like some sort of war type alien thing, yeah, that's a big hint, isn't it, anyway, so, the very first Easter egg that we're checking out now, I'm just going to say it, is the Kraken. Yeah, the Kraken, the big octopus on the moon, for some reason, when there's no water there. Anyway, <laughs> actually, I never thought of it that way. Why is there, why is the Kraken on the moon? Shouldn't it be like where the ocean is? Hmm. Now that, why, do, why did I just think of that? Worst timing to think of that, and while I'm discussing things in an episode. Hmm. <laughs> And let me tell you, I love these probes, man. These probes, woof, they're, they're good on the moon. They work perfectly on the moon, no problem. But when it goes to the planets, eh, it's not not a good, not as good as the planet. And that kraken, man, there has to be some backstory as to how it died, or at least appears to be dead, because as you may know, the the cross sign on the eyes does symbolize death, kind of. Anyway, it's a nice kraken. Where there is no ocean. Anyway, at this point, I decided to crash into it, but obviously I'm pretty bad at aiming things, so I miss. And, uh, look at this. I'm surprised. I was really fascinated by this. Where this probe is obviously just sliding along the ground and slowly disintegrating. That's very cool. Very slowly. And look how cool that is. Just rotating super fast. And everything's dead. Oh well, we didn't really need that probe, didn't we? All right, so uh, well, on to the next, the next Easter egg. Well, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Yes, <laughs> the Kraken. All of you guys know about that anyway. At least most of you. Now the next moon is Vol, as you can see, V A double L. If that's how you actually spell it, I'm probably wrong. Uh, it's actually an e a very interesting Easter egg. It's an interesting one. Let me, I actually, I think it's called Volhenge or something. I remember re reading it somewhere. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading the instructions actually on how to find it because it's it's quite a, when I, when I searched for it, I did struggle actually even with the coordinates. I mean, as, as you guys may know, I have another profile in KSP where I've got probes just sitting right next to the Easter egg. Even then, it's hard to find this specific Easter egg because I always focus, I I always determine where the Easter egg is based on the terrain of a planet. 
That's why I have my terrain detail on high. Oh man, my family members are screaming today. <laughs> Stop talking! Anyway. Well, there it is, a bit of a time skip again. Uh, I'm actually going to give you guys a link to a forum page made by a guy named MalfunctionMK1E. This guy, he did... He's got a forum, this page that he made, basically tells you all about easter eggs that are or were available during in, in this game. And he mentions that on Tylo, there's meant to be a face known as Carl Sagan's face. But it's actually no longer there because of the latest update things that, are, that, have, wrecked, that have wrecked the easter egg... <laughs> I'm mumbling today. And there's meant to be some sort of cave formation. That's what he says. So... I don't know. Again, the KSP team isn't really focusing on Easter eggs. I don't know what they're focusing on at the moment. But uh, it's definitely not on the Easter eggs. That's unfortunate. But it will. And yeah, there's many, many interesting things that we are unable to show off in this in this series because of the... The... Uh, well, how do I say? The unfortunate demise of these Easter eggs would be a good way to explain it. So that was the the Vol Henge. Very interesting, right? I don't think there's any history behind that. There's no real meaning. It's just there. <laughs> I guess you guys can make up some sort of history. Say there was an once an, an advanced civilization hiding there. Yeah. Anyway, so I did mention, I think it was last episode, that uh, this very aircraft that you're looking at is useless. Well, that is true. And in this episode, I'm going to give it a purpose. So I'm just going to fly it around Lathe for no apparent reason. Just to maybe... Well, I guess there is a reason. To test it out. Excuse me. Uh, to just see how it goes when it comes to flying around Lathe. Because I haven't really given this thing extensive tests. Uh, and let me tell you, I am very disappointed. Very disappointed with myself. I uncovered a couple problems with this design. The first one you may be able to spot in the top right hand corner. It starts with E and ends with C. Elec electric, electric charge, yes. So this, this design has solar panels on it, but unfortunately I added a wing that covers up these solar panels. So I'm not actually charging this thing with power and I could no longer control it as I, as I was able to do before. Actually, I was able, actually, let me reiterate that. I was able to control this for some reason because of the fact that I had the engines on. I think that's what it was. So I think it was, what was that? Thrust vectoring? I think that's the name. And another mistake. Another real terrible mistake. I forgot the smoggy bay right in the front of the aircraft. Like, what a silly mistake. <laughs> that's the, one of the biggest mistakes I've made. Like, although I've, I've done that in the past. Where I forget all the smoggy bays on an entire aircraft. So it doesn't even move on the ground. What a big fault. Uh, but luckily I did have these parachutes. And as you can see it was a bit of a rough landing. But Bob survived. Because he is Bob. Why else? Man I want to know the impact tolerance of these Kerbals by the way. Anyone know the impact tolerance? Because that would be very interesting. It's probably like 50 or 100 <laughs> meters per second. Okay, well we just smashed that. That was exciting, wasn't it? Not really. No Easter egg on Lathe apparently. Couldn't find one. No one's really spoken about it, so... Nothing there. Oh well. And what else are we going to do now? Hmm. Alright, future plans. Now, oh look at those Kerbalists. That's so cute. That's a good one. <laughs> what an awesome design. Anyway, uh, future plans. I just purchased the game... It's kind of an old game, known as... Some of you are going to be angry at me for this. It's called Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Alright, and I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, heretic, why did you do that? I'll kill you! Like, <laughs> I won't be playing this frequently. Okay, I... Sins of a Solar Empire is a strategy game of which I'm actually... I think I'm good at it. Because I can challenge the AIs at a relatively hard level. So I think I'm good at it. Anyway, uh, and perhaps I'll be challenging some of you guys. Maybe I'll invite some of you to join 
mean and, and sort of have a challenge or something like that. It all depends on the schedule, things like that. But anyway, uh, I might be playing that a little bit. So yeah, let's leave that at that for now. And since this is the last episode, I will make the designs, this main carrier ship, I will make it available for you guys to to fly it and do whatever you want with it. No problem. No problem. So I'm sure many of you guys will like that. Man, I forget the name. What was it called? Ex- USS Explorer. Yeah, that's. I think that's the name. I never focused on the name. Wait, that was interesting. Did you guys notice that crash? Okay, wait, something's about to happen. Oh, man, this is so weird, man. This is just terrible. This is an Easter egg in itself. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, bang. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. This is the end of the series. So I do hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Take care.